Hey guys, so this is gonna be a quick video showing you how to avoid error messages in Premiere Pro. Now this is in particular to a GPU renderer error, but it should fix other errors if you guys are having them as well. Say you have a project and you have a ton of settings on it, and for this example, I'm only gonna export six seconds. And you just click export. And as it's exporting with GPU rendering, it's going so, so fast, and you're like, wow, this is amazing, and then, all of a sudden it starts to slow down and you're like, okay, you know, that, that's normal. But then it just freezes and it's pretty annoying. I mean, sometimes I've had to force close my program. I'm like, what's going on? You know, I can't finish editing my video. I want to share it to the world. And on the inside, I was like, this has to be a software problem. I guess I'll just wait for the error message to show up. So the error message just popped up and it says error compiling movie accelerated renderer error unable to produce frame and I've contacted Adobe and it, they're not really too much helpful on their end because they can't do anything they just say it's a, a computer based issue you know try and try a different codec you know the the normal things they didn't really give me a workaround your GPU is getting overworked so I'm basically going to show you guys what I mean by when the GPU gets maxed out. As you can see, I have a GTX 970 in my system, and my CPU is a Ryzen 7 1800X. I'm going to make sure that I am on GPU acceleration so you can see this in action. And I'm simply going to click export. In the meantime, I'm going to bring up a dialog box so you can see. Down here we have the GPU. And then up here we have the CPU. You can see that I have 16 cores running on my CPU. At first glance, the CPU is getting close to maxed out, if not maxed out on all of the cores. So you can see that it is happening so fast. Down here you can also see that my GPU is peaking at around 89% at some times. But remember that pause I talked about earlier? You can see that it's frozen right here in Premiere. And as you can also see, my CPU is dropping a lot and my GPU is not even using. So it's like the software just kind of froze on me. And it will be like this for a while, and sometimes my CPU will peak back up and my GPU will peak back up, but I can tell you that it is a software issue looking at these specs. Right now, you can see my GPU just jump back up right here up to a 97% load. So basically what this means is that GPU acceleration is amazing for the fact that it can use your GPU and CPU together to edit faster. But the only downside is that when you're using a lot of scaling on 4K footage, sometimes it won't work. So I'm going to let this play out for a little bit until I get the error message so you guys can see it for yourself. So as you guys can see, as soon as the error message popped up, our GPU and everything just kind of shut off. It can be pretty frustrating, but I'm going to show you how to fix it. All you got to do is click OK, exit out of the exporter, and go to File, Project Settings, and click on General. It'll open up this dialog box, and under General, you'll see Video Rendering and Playback. All you have to do is select the renderer and change it to Mercury Playback Engine Software Only. What this does is it pretty much cancels out the GPU aspect of rendering. Click OK and click on Delete Previews because you don't want the previews mixing with each other. The only caveat to using this way to export is that it is super slow. I mean, you guys saw how fast the GPU is working, but the only problem with GPU is that when you get to footage where you are scaling 4K footage, as in you are zooming in and zooming out, etc. at the same time, it's a lot of work for the GPU to do. So basically, the GPU can't keep up with the software. Hopefully, Adobe will come up with an update that will fix this issue. But for now, all you have to do is export your footage with the different renderer setting and you will be golden. We have GPU acceleration disabled and now we're just going to simply click export. At the same time, I'm going to open up the same specs and we will compare them. You'll notice that exporting already takes quite a bit longer, but you'll also notice that the GPU is actually not being used at all, if anything, but the CPU is being maxed out. So this is heavily reliant on your CPU. Like I said, the only caveat is, is that it takes longer. However, your project will be able to export without an error message. As always, if you guys like the tutorial, be sure to subscribe and smash that thumbs up button because I'll be making some more stuff in the future. I'll see you next time.